All right, now that you understand the basic components of how laser cutting works and the processes that go behind laser cutting, we're gonna go ahead and jump over to our own laser cutting machine. And this is this bad boy here. This is the Dremel DigiLab. And this is the laser cutter that's currently located in our Maker Studio space. And this is the make this is the laser cutter that you're gonna be using. So there are three components that come into uh, in order for the laser cutter to work. And the first component we're gonna talk about is the laser cutter itself. This is the laser cutter here. As you can see in this picture, this is where you're gonna insert your project and your material. So that way you can start laser cutting. The other component is this water dash air pump filtration system here on your right. This should always be connected and will always be connected at all times. And then we got down here what we call a fume extraction system. In basic terms, this is just a dust collector machine. Why do we have a dust collector machine? As you are laser cutting uh, your project, depending on the material that you have, it's going to release specific dust. And essentially this extraction system is going to suck all the dust from the laser cutter. So in order for this laser cutter to work, these three components need to be on at all times. If for some whatever reason, the water and air pump is missing or the fume extraction system is not underneath, please let a technician or an ambassador know that way we can take care of it. But these are the main three components and this is the purpose of this video was so that you are aware that in order for the laser cutter to work, we need to have the fume extraction system connected the water dash air pump filtration system connected as well and of course the laser cutter should be on as well in the next video i'm going to show you how to actually turn on the laser cutter